Well, I got them all wrapped and bedded down for the winter. I put uh, two of those candy frames that I make in each hive and uh, ended up, that middle one, ended up taking a box off because they were so, they just hadn't filled the top, so. Um, but the others are all looking pretty strong, so, you know, I, I have high hopes for at least four of those, the four outside ones, and then the one in the middle we'll just see. Well, this kind of sucks. Uh, these are my hives in Fort Collins, and there were four of them, <clears throat> and uh, I haven't been out here in a little while. Uh, they seemed... Uh, except for the one that the smoker's on. The other three seemed pretty strong the last time I was here. And so I wasn't too worried about them. Uh, and, uh, boy, they just, uh, those three are gone. Uh, and I suspect they were just robbed out. Um, and, and this one has got lots of food and stuff, so I'm guessing this one helped rob out the others. And uh, so I, I haven't gone all the way down to the bottom on those three uh, to see what's there, but I'll bet that I'll find a whole bunch of dead bees and there must have been robbing happening. Um, it's too bad. I should have kept a closer eye on them. And maybe, uh, I think maybe next year in the fall, uh, I'm just going to put robbing screens on all of, uh, all of the hives. Um, just, just, uh, even if it doesn't look like there's robbing going on, just make robbing screens and, and set them all up so that I don't have this problem. It's really a bummer. Um, so... Uh, but, you know, the hives in birth that are looking good, so that's good. And the hives at home are mostly looking good, too. Um, so, not overall a bad year, just this is sort of a bummer to come out here and find this.